So what's going on guys, the truck guy here. Today I wanted to get back to you with another unboxing and review. And today I wanted to review the Allway Tools 3-in-1 caulk tool with stainless steel caulk remover. If you're into tools, knives, and tackling jobs around the house and yard, please check out my channel guys and hit that subscribe button. Alright guys, so the Allway Tools 3-in-1 caulk tool with stainless steel caulk remover. So we've got a caulk tool from a company named Allway Tools. I haven't seen this brand too much at Home Depot, so I'm not overly familiar with it. I picked this up in the paint section because I had a couple paint jobs I had to knock out. And I had to get some caulk to work on a ceiling and kind of seal up some of the little cracks that had developed over time. So I was checking out the paint section and thought um, since I'm going to be caulking part of the ceiling it really made sense to have some kind of tool to maybe get me out of a couple jobs that popped up along the way. So guys this was $5.98 at Home Depot so it's not going to set you back too far and I figured it was worth picking up um, while I was there because I didn't want to to need this tool and have to make another run to go back. Um, so I have already used it, I already unpackaged it, but I wanted to show you guys what it looked like in the box. There were just a couple fasteners on here earlier. Um, but this is the tool guys, it's, it's the three in one. Um, at the bottom here, it's got the silicone spreader, and then it's got kind of a scraper up top. Um, you know, to do kind of some traditional scraping. Um, it's rather small. Um, and then it's got the caulk removal tool, the stainless steel caulk removal tool up top. So I'm gonna set the packaging aside here. And I really found this tool to be extremely useful. I, I didn't think I necessarily would, um, but it, it did, um, it did do the job guys. One thing I didn't notice out of the packaging, um, you can take this little silicone spreader off and it's got three different sizes. The tips are all different sizes. Um, so I thought that was pretty interesting. It looks like it's one eighth, one fourth and three sixteenths. Um, so you, you won't be able to see it probably on the video but uh, it, it is designated in these three corners. I didn't even pick that up um, right away. I didn't even notice that. Um, but uh, then you can go ahead and, and pop it back on here. So when I was spreading the caulk on the ceiling to cover up some cracks, I would just go, go through with this at the end and just smooth out the caulk um, where I needed to. And it really ended up doing a nice job I thought and it was just a nice tool to use to kind of keep your fingers dry and just kind of keep the job moving and the silicone was really smooth against the ceiling that I was working on um, so it probably would have been nice guys to know about these different um, different settings here on the silicone spreader but uh, you know it, it wasn't the worst even not knowing about that but one of the cool things I use this spreader for is I would use this for kind of in the grooves I was working in. I'd use the point, but then I came back with the side of the the silicone spreader to kind of get that extra caulk off parts of the ceiling. So I found a lot of use with the silicone spreader. And the other thing I, I found a lot of use for is the stainless steel scraper up top. So. I think normally you'd use this to remove um, old cock and kind of, you know, go in a corner, go in a crack and, and scrape out uh, the old, you know, maybe dried out cock that's in there. But uh, kind of the funny thing is the ceiling I was working on had grooves in between the panels 
um, and there was some old paint there so I actually used this um, scraper to just run through those those cracks in the ceiling and it really got a lot of paint out and it really got into a tight area so I was really impressed with this scraper it held up really well and it really just was able to kind of run through those those areas very quickly and it was very effective in getting that um, that old paint out and I didn't actually use this scraper much I don't know the usefulness of that um, you know I, I did have my 15 and one paint tool with me so I was kind of using this um, if needed for scraping so I kind of had two tools on me and guys if you haven't seen the 15 and one paint tool review definitely check that out because this is a a really handy tool to have on you so I didn't use this scraper or spreader at all up top I think it's a little awkward to use kind of on the back side of this tool I think for this tool the silicone spreader and the stainless steel scraper they're both awesome tools you know this one it's almost even in the way a little bit I, I didn't it didn't get in my way but I just I don't like the look of that up top but it adds it adds another tool guys so you know they're trying to get as many tools on here as they can but guys I really found this useful if you've got any caulking jobs if you've got any painting jobs I would definitely pick this up for under six bucks this is a versatile tool and the cool thing is when I was done with my job I was able to just you know pop this off and, and clean everything off um, which was really a nice feature of this tool so I would definitely highly recommend the three-in-one caulking tool so that's it guys please hit me up with a like or subscribe if you can and as always we'll talk to you on the next video